Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. AMA Expo West will feature drone racing. Drone operators please be cautious about low-flying agricultural aircraft. And Kitty Hawk unveils the latest version of his flyer aircraft. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. As previously noted, the upcoming AMA Expo West trade show not only starts early, but in an altogether upgraded location that will allow for massive expansion of this intensely cool event. This year, the AMA Expo West team will appear this November 2nd through 4th, 2018 at the Veriplex Exposition Center in Pomona, California. Now we can get even more excited about the fact that multi-GP drone races are now a featured part of the event roster. Multi-GP is currently claiming the title of the largest professional drone racing league in the world, boasting over 20,000 registered pilots, in addition to 500 active chapters worldwide. The upgraded facilities in Pomona will allow for a great platform for Multi-GP's exciting race program. The full schedule of events is in the works, and we promise to update this story as soon as possible. And yes, AMA Drone Report and Aero News will be there and should have a few surprises in store for you by then. Stay tuned. In the next general minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Researchers at the University of Queensland in Australia are developing a sensor system that is designed to stop a spinning drone rotor blade before it can cause an injury. The safety rotor is a cage around the rotor that spins more slowly than the propeller. And if a biological material is detected, it stops the rotor within 0.077 seconds. The system consists of a plastic hoop that would touch any object, such as a finger, before it contacted the rotor blade. Researchers from the Etienne Jules Mari Institute of Movement Sciences in France have drawn inspiration from birds to design an aerial robot capable of altering its profile during flight. To reduce its wingspan and navigate through tight spaces, it can reorient its arms, which are equipped with propellers that let it fly like a helicopter. The scientist's works pays the way for a new generation of large robots that can move through narrow passages, making them ideal for explorations as well as search and rescue missions. A drone operated by authorities in Ensenada, Mexico, about two hours south of Tijuana, has led to a significant decrease in overall crime in the city. Ensenada police say that in only a few months of operation, their one DJI Inspire One drone has led to more than 500 arrests and contributed to an overall 10% drop in the crime rate including a 30% drop in residential robberies. Over the past four months, the drone has flown an average of 25 sorties per day. The ANN team has been building new coverage options for the AMA drone report and a massive new project we'll be talking about next month. But one thing we've really been looking forward to is the start of our flight test evaluation series, inaugurated by super drone jockey Casey Seelock. We started out with a great FPV training drone system. Fat Shark's 101 kit is the perfect solution for anyone looking to get into sport drones. Composed of a custom-designed quadcopter, race-ready FPV goggles, and a well-designed radio, the kit has everything needed to get started in drones. Check out our evaluation on the AMA Drone Report YouTube channel at amadronereport.com. And be sure to let us know what drones or drone products you want us to review next. That was our drone minute, now back to the rest of the news. With more than 1 million UAVs registered with the FAA, it is vitally important for UAV operators to be aware of agricultural aircraft operations this growing season, so says the Natural Agricultural Aviation Association. NAAA claims that there is also a highly publicized near-miss between an ag aircraft and a UAV last summer in Iowa. 
As the Ag pilot was passing through about 350 feet AGL, a quadcopter UAV flew under his wing before he could take evasive action. Agricultural aviators fly as low as 10 feet off the ground, meaning they share airspace with UAVs that are generally limited to flying no more than 400 feet AGL. For this reason, the National Agricultural Aviation Association is asking UAV operators to do everything they can to avoid ag aircraft conducting low-level flight operations. While the NAAA report and plea for safety is based on some anti-drone hysteria, there is no question that the drones and ag operators share a greater potential for conflict due to their low-altitude operations. So it makes sense for the drone community to ignore the hysteria but also be vigilant for ag operators operating down in the weeds with the rest of us. A multi-copter you can ride? That sure appears to be the thinking behind the Kitty Hawk Flyer. Mountain View, California-based Kitty Hawk has posted images and a video of the most recent version of its Flyer personal recreational vehicle on its website. The aircraft is essentially a drone scaled up to carry a person. Ten electric-powered rotors provide the lift and propulsion. The aircraft is currently designed to fly up to about 10 feet in altitude and up to 20 miles per hour. Depending on the weight of the occupant, battery life is estimated at 12 to 20 minutes. According to Kitty Hawk, the flyer is designed to be easy to fly and flown for recreational purposes over water and uncongested areas. About two hours of training will be required before a person is allowed to operate the aircraft. In the U.S., flyers operates under Part 103 Ultralight. FAA does not require aircraft registration or pilot certification, though flight training is highly encouraged. While no price for the flyer has been set, the company is currently taking pre-orders. The company is also developing a two-place aircraft called Cora in New Zealand for possible use as an air taxi. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA drone report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes, covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.